Emotional healing helps people with aging well. That's what three dozen Vietnam War veterans received during a ceremony that honored them for their service to our country. CAD tv 4s Diana Ko tells us about this special salute to Vietnam era veterans. When American soldiers returned home from Vietnam, there were no parades. We were not really welcomed home as much as we should have been. It, it'll never be a closure per se because it's over with. What we try and do as Vietnam veterans is to take care of our own. These vets faced hostility because the war they fought in was increasingly unpopular. Back during the Vietnam era, many veterans, when they came home, they, unfortunately, they were, they were not welcomed home by the community. You know, it was a very political time. Today you will receive the Vietnam veterans lapel pin. This is something that if you RSVP for our event here today that you should have already received. And hopefully there's somebody in the room with you who can um, ping you. Veterans groups have spent the last three decades making up for that with patriotic gestures like this one. The Oahu Veterans Center and health insurance agency Humana hosted a virtual pinning ceremony. Every year, they invite any active duty U.S. military veteran who served during the Vietnam War to receive a commemorative pin. This year, they held it online because of the pandemic. It's anybody who served during the Vietnam era. So when you look at uh, 1955 to 1975, Cabrera is an Iraq vet and knows how much the thank you means. My welcoming home was so different than theirs, and so it just it, it's, it's with great honor that I get the opportunity to welcome them back, that me and my team get to welcome them back home. And just to see their reaction when we do have these ceremonies, it's, it's really powerful. And I think it bring, also brings a lot of healing at the same time. Whatever they can do to take care of Vietnam veterans, and I'm one of them, I think that's a wonderful thing. I think it's very important to continue to honor our veterans and never forget. And I think that's a lesson that needs to be passed on to our children. The wounds from what was called the never-ending conflict can finally start to end. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.